What's up, everyone? Desktops Gaming here. Welcome back to the... This isn't my space at all. Get over here. That's right, you guys remember this guy. The cool thing with this is you get to take it home. Wait, what? Wait, so are you serious? You built it, you get to take it home. <laughs> a few months back, we did a build with him on the channel where he built his own PC for the first time and then... You know, a little spoiler alert, I gave it away to him at the end of the build. Mm -hmm. So I figured today with the help of Intense Gaming, we're gonna do a full makeover on his setup. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. As I said before, we were in my little brother's room doing a kind of full makeover on his entire setup. So thanks to Intense Gaming today, your monitor went to sleep. Thanks to Intense Gaming today, uh, we're doing a full kind of overview of the new desk they sent over for us to check out. This is one of their extreme gaming desks. Uh, we would have a full, you know, kind of time lapse, and we did record that when we first put the desk together, but for the first time, I had footage corrupt. So that was Definitely my fault there for not backing it up as soon as possible, but uh, we'll have the audio from that, but no video. So I would show you guys kind of the assembly process and putting everything together, but everything did go very smooth when we were putting this desk together. And we were definitely impressed with how everything went together, even as big as this desk is. So instead, we're just gonna go over a couple of its features and kind of talk that through with you guys. And we'll definitely leave some links down in the description. So if you guys wanna check this desk out for yourself, uh, you can, if it's something you might wanna put in your space. So let's go over a couple of those features right now. Starting at the top down here, we have the monitor riser or monitor stand here up at the top of the desk. Now you can choose to mount this on or not. It's not an integral part of the desk, but if you say don't want to run a base amount for your monitor, you do have a stand here where you can just put your normal desk feet or the normal monitor feet down onto the desk there. Uh, so you have plenty of space up top, whether you're gonna use this for a monitor stand or just as a storage shelf, and it does leave enough space underneath as well. So if you did want to say slide your keyboard back underneath it or store, like uh, looks like he has here a little Bluetooth speaker underneath the desk there's some storage underneath that little slot as well. Now moving over to the left side of the desk here, uh, you can see how the kind of desk kind of cuts in and out like so. So it cuts in to give you a little more space here if you're coming up to the sides and then cuts out in the middle here. So it comes a little closer to you uh, when you're sitting at the desk so you can get a little closer to your keyboard here. And then on the sides of the desk, you do have these two accessories that it comes with. Uh, so this is not meant to be a guitar hook, but uh, this is meant to be a normal headphone hook here. And then on the right side, if we look around on the other side, uh, this is actually designed to be a cup holder that we have the little headphones hanging on now. And of course, these are reversible as well. So if you want to, you can swap those over and then mount them to either side of the desk. Uh, that works no problem. All right, so moving along, since we talked about the shelf here, uh, he's got them turned off right now, but there is a little remote here that's included, and that is for some RGB strips that are mounted to the back side underneath here. Uh, so those will shine down onto the desk, kind of create some reflections. We just got them turned off right now where you can kind of see the you know kind of gap spacing under there. But you can control these with the little switch here and that will turn those on and off. And of course you can control the colors there as well. You see we have his desktop sitting up over here, but on the side of that, on the right hand side, there is a little secret underneath the phone here. If we pull that back out of the way. That's right, that is a Qi pad with a little USB adapter there as well. So you can either plug into this guy and it's wired on the back side of the desk where we have this power strip, or you can set a wireless capable charging device right on top of this and it will charge up there as well. So along the back side of the desk here, there is a kill management tray that runs the entire back side of the desk with a ample cutout along the back with cutouts in between each segment as well. So there's actually a little borehole in between each segment as they go along. So it made it really easy for some kill management, even though we do have a few things we need to fix here. One of the little wires fell down when we were cleaning up the filming here but it makes it really simple to pass the cables along the back side of the desk, whether you're running from your, your system, your monitor, you know, whatever you have plugged up on your desk, it's pretty easy to hide it along this little back channel here. And the desk went together really smoothly, like I said, there's a few angle brackets here that hold the two side leaves together onto the main frame. Everything came together pretty smoothly, as you can see. Uh, definitely no hassle to put this guy together, especially if you have a friend with you. That about wraps it up. Wanted to keep it short and simple for you guys. If you wanted to check out a desk like this, we'll have some more pictures posted on our Instagram over Desktops Gaming. Overall, final thoughts. What would you say as far as putting this desk together? I'd definitely say it's not hard to put together at all. The only thing is, it being such a large desk, it definitely takes some time to put it together because there are so many different parts. But it's definitely pretty simple to put together, though. Yeah, I, I feel like we could have got it done in an hour and 15 minutes or so if we weren't kind of around the whole time. But otherwise, yeah, pretty easy to work with, I'd say. And came together very sturdy, not going to go anywhere anytime soon. No, no, no. Uh, and easy enough to break down if we do need to, you know, when you decide to move or anything like that. I definitely think it'd be pretty easy to pull the individual pieces back out of its place. Yeah, definitely. 
So yeah guys, like I said, I'll link all of the links to this guy down in the description below. This is their Extreme Corner Gaming Desk from Intense Gaming, and I'll have a few others linked to go below as well. If you guys remember back uh, a few months ago now, we did a makeover of Mile in Space, and they actually had their Genesis L Gaming Desk. So this is a new one from that same lineup of desks. So this one's designed to be more of a corner desk, so you can face it either in the corner and leave a little gap behind it, or you can turn it towards a wall and kind of put it with it flaring out kind of like a V. So it gives you both options here, a little different from your traditional corner desk. But overall, like I said, I'm impressed with the desk. Uh, a little jealous, I'd say, because this one's really sweet. I do love mine, don't get me wrong, but this one is pretty nice, just a little different from your conventional L desk. But check out, all the links will be provided down in the description below. Definitely go check out Intense Gaming, but appreciate you guys stopped by. Take it easy.